Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I ain't gonna tell you to say good morning no more. Cause you already know what you're supposed to do. How are you guys doing today? We I had are... tryouts yesterday. Hmm? I had tryouts yesterday. Tell them you had tryouts. I had tryouts yesterday. What kind of tryouts, Brooke? Cheer tryouts. Cheer tryouts. Yeah, Brooke went to cheer cheer bleh, bleh, bleh. cheer tryouts on yesterday. She had fun. She seen all of her well, a lot of her um, last season teammates and some of the other girls that are on other teams. So all of them kind of collectively assembled there to figure out, you know, which teams they would be on. So. Yeah, we're done with season eight and we're right back into season nine, just like that. <laughs> yeah, my life is very eventful right now. Very, very busy, which I'm not complaining. I love it. It beats just staying in the house and being complacent because that's that was my, that was me. Never went anywhere, never really done anything, but just kind of stayed home. But now, thanks to this little one here, I am on the move again. <laughs> yeah, so. I was gonna make um, chicken Alfredo tonight, but I forgot to take the chicken breast out. So I'm not sure what we're gonna have for dinner tonight i may have to wind up pick up something to cook because i am trying to get away from a lot of fast foods because next week lord's will i have decided um that i am going back to the gym can i go no baby you're too young uh. i wish you could go though but i'm sure i'll have you right in there with me on the treadmill and in the 30 minute room and on the Stairmaster. I sure, I'm gonna ask though. I'm gonna ask how old do you have to be to come there? But I'm almost certain you're probably, you're a little under, under age, my dear. I'm only eight years old. Yep, only. You may have to be 12 or something. I don't know what so, I'm gonna ask. Jordan can go. Well, how old is Jordan? 13. Okay, my point exactly. She's a little older than you, sweets. I don't know why this, these glasses be snagging my braids. I think it's how I be putting them, putting them on. But anyway. Yeah, so I plan on getting back into the gym for as well on next week. I'm going to, I'm not going to push myself because I'm still dealing with a broken foot. So I may not even do the treadmills at all. Anything like but that. I will if I go. Yeah, I know, baby. I'll have to see. I'm going to ask though, okay? But if not, you can. Uh, we can start walking around the neighborhood no. like we used to. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why you don't like walking around the neighborhood? No. Is it a reason? Yes. What's the reason? Too much bugs. Nah, I agree with you on that. Yeah. And mosquitoes. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. It wasn't that many mosquitoes. I think it was more like I didn't like the ants and stuff that was on the ground. Yeah, that's But yeah, um, so really I'm going to be doing like a lot of weights, um, <clears throat> upper body weights and things like that. But I do definitely want to get back in the gym. Um, I haven't been eating too crazy because we know that's a big part of um, life changing goals is changing your diet. You know what? I may make me some tuna tonight. I have to make Brooke something else, but she don't eat tuna. I, that's what I want. I mean, I'm gonna make some tuna tonight. I have everything I need at the house. Yeah. No. I'm gonna make me some tuna. You need to turn around and sit back. Put your back to the seat. What's your breath gonna be smell like tuna? No, it won't. Now I brush my teeth. Five times. Get over further up. 
anyway um any plans for this week you guys for this weekend it's mother's day weekend that he may be only able to come down on Sunday and he's not 100% sure on that either so um, he just started the job on Monday so I told him I was like look I understand I definitely understand if you can't you know if you can't travel however um, my uh, oldest daughter she will be here on Saturday photos on Saturday is what we're doing. We're doing photos on Saturday at the house. Um, but it's going to be a really fun and nice experience. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning, Lord, to tell you thank you. Thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way, God. Thank you for all of your many blessings that you have bestowed upon our lives, God. Thank you for our ups and our downs and our trials and our tribulation, God. We, God, because we know that they come to make us strong and they come to strengthen us in areas where we thought that we would fall apart. So, God, for that, we just want to take this time and tell, to tell you thank you. Thank you all for all of your love and kindness, Lord God, that you show us on every day, Lord God. Every day that you wake us up, God, you show us more and more that you love us and that you care for us and that we still have work to do. So God, I come to you today, Lord God, to ask for your forgiveness of any sins that I may have committed, anything that I've said, thought, or did that wasn't pleasing to you, God. I pray and ask for your forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I ask that you would continue to purge my heart with hyssop. Clean my soul, Lord God. Touch my mind and my heart and my and my body, Lord God. I want to do, my desire is to do the work for you, of you, Lord. I want to be a witness for your to your people. So God, I ask that you would strengthen me where I am weak and build me up where I am torn down, God. God, I ask that you continue to watch over us as we're traveling, God. Watch over us in our homes, in our schoolhouses, God, wherever we may be at on today. God, I pray and I ask that you would cover us, continue to shield us and protect us from all hurt, harm, and danger, all evil seen and unseen. God, I thank you. I love you. I honor you. I praise you. I glorify you, God. In the name of Jesus, for all of the children that are taking tests on today, God, I ask that you would guard their hearts and their mind, bring things back to their remembrance, that they would do well, Lord God. Help them to stay focused on what they're doing, but to always put you first in any and everything that they do. God, we love you, we thank you, and we glorify you. And it is in Jesus' name I pray. Thank God and amen. You guys know what is next. Go and make it a great day. Keep praying, keep pushing, keep pushing, and definitely keep praying. It will get greater later. And until next time, don't forget to turn on your bell notification so that you will not miss another video from me, your girl, Candace with Candace H Creations and Brookie. Brooke, whenever I'm praying, you don't interrupt me, okay? Whatever you have to tell me, you can wait until after I'm done, okay? Okay? Yeah, you don't do that. That's just like somebody going up to the pastor while he praying. And they say, hey, pastor, pastor. That's, you don't do that. Okay? But anyway, I'm about to drop her off because I have a dentist appointment at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. So I got 30 minutes to get there and it's only 10 minutes away. So I can, um, read a, a chapter in my book that I bought and write in my journal this morning. I bought a journal over the weekend and I tried to write in it 
certain times of the day when I feel like things I want to jot down as far as my emotions and how I'm feeling, I try to jot those things down. So, um, Brooke trying to show y'all her book, her book bag that she got. Zip that part up, babe. So, yeah, um, we will see you guys on tomorrow. That's Thursday morning. We, we will come back with you guys. And have you have a test today? No. Tomorrow? Okay, so we have to be here extra early. Extra. What? What you mean, no? Yeah, you always got to be on time, bro. It's just bench. It's just what? It's just bench partners on this. Okay, but still. I still, you still need to do well. You need to still go to bed early and get up on time. Come on. Tell everybody bye. You talk to them later. All right, you guys. Later. Come on.